What's good, YouTube? I'm back at y'all with another video. And today's video is 24 hours as a garbage man. If y'all like the content that y'all been seeing, hit the like button, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. We basically go into every house that's on our route and dump in the trash. You don't go to every single neighborhood, but you go to most neighborhoods that's on your route. If you like driving for like 10 hours a day and just you in the truck picking up trash, this might be a straight job for you. The pay is pretty decent. Okay. If you can deal with smells and stuff like that, you're going you're gonna to be all right with this job. So right now we just been in corners and, and before you make a turn, you lift your bucket up because it's wider with that bucket out turning. It's harder with the traffic coming in. So you lift that bucket up and turn that corner and then you're going to see us bring the bucket back out. Yes, the garbage truck do have two different sides where you could drive from. I'm on the right side right now. Somebody's on the left side. You could turn on the right side. You see the steering wheel still moving. I'm not even touching it. He's doing that. It got pedals also on the right side. This is one of the, the best trucks I've been in, honestly. Y'all ain't even seen it. Some of the other trucks is like horrible. They they just old, older style. This is a newer style truck. It had like a thousand miles on it. So yeah, he just put that bucket back down, put more garbage in there. We were so happy that we was able to get in this truck because most of the trucks break down a lot because you're running them all day. You got to think if you're running them for eight to 10 hours a day, sometimes 12, they're going to break down a lot. So this was a great day. We was in this good truck. The seats are kind of uncomfortable in the truck. They're not the very best. But so far, this is a pretty easy thing to do. Just going by every house, picking up the garbage. It just depends on how big your route is. Some routes are big. Some of them are not that big. But this was a decent route. It wasn't so big. This company picks up recycle. They pick up yard waste. So people mow their lawns, the leaves, stuff like that. And they also pick up trash. Right now, we are picking up trash. They send other trucks to pick up the recycle, the yard waste. So that's how that works. This truck is real bouncy. You probably can't tell because the stabilization in this camera is great. Those control arms that picks up the trash and dumps it right in the bin for you comes in handy. It ain't like back in the days where they gotta pick the trash up in the back and throw it in there. You could just use the control arms, which saves you a lot of time. And what you're looking at right now is inside the garbage compactor. It's disgusting. And right now we are at the landfill, which is where they dump all the trash. It's a little drive just to get to the landfill, but that's another area they might use to dump the trash when the other area fills up. Can't lie, this hill is kind of steep. You get scared going around it. All it takes is the wrong move, and you can go flying down there, but that is the landfill. That's where all your trash goes. Ain't that crazy? They bury it into layers. They bring any and everything down here, but they do not dump yard waste or recycle. That goes to another center. Even different garbage companies and trucking companies bring their trash here. They're only allowed to fill this area up to a certain height and then they have to move to another area and start all over. This shit smells horrible. Hmm. This truck, this haul-out truck, or this porch truck, it smells like ass. But I believe the, uh, I think it's that truck that usually delivers shit. Look at all that trash. I believe the garbage truck can hold up to 13 tons of trash. 
that big rollover rolls over the trash and buries it so they can create it into another layer. You ever wonder what being a garbage man was like? This is it. I do recommend new drivers to go to a dump truck just to get their CDL experience. It is CDL experience. It is not trailer experience. Though. It still counted as experience for me and I was still able to get a local trucking job within six months, y'all. Six months. So I know people who got trucking jobs within three months of being a new grad. I got it. I got a local job six months of then being a new grad. So I'm about to tell y'all what the dump truck was like. Y'all just seen the video of me showing the experience of. All right. So the dump truck job, I really didn't like it. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I did not like the dump truck job um, just because I'm not really a, a garbage type of person of being dirty or um, smelling like garbage. That just wasn't for me. S smelling like garbage, seeing garbage all day and just being around it all day. It just wasn't for me, but they had me in yard waste. Actually, I was picking up like leaves and people yard waste that they, you know, when they cut their grass, it was that was in their yard. They had me picking that up. So I didn't really like that. I preferred to pick up trash, but they said I was new, so I had to get yard waste. I was on the road for three months. I was OTR for three months. I did that for three months. It was a good experience. It shaped me into the driver I am today, going to different states and stuff like that. But I applied to the garbage truck job. They called back the next day, which should have been a red flag for me in the first place, because any job that called back literally the next day, I should have knew like, ah, oh, this finna be something. But anyways, they called me back, got me for the interview. They hired me. I just wanted to come off the road. I was willing to do whatever job to come off the road. So stayed at the garbage truck job for three months. I really didn't like it because we had to get up at 5 a.m. We had to be there at 5 a.m. Start by like 5.30, 6 probably. It was so early. We used to literally get out there before the sun comes up. So it was just stupid early. I'm not a morning person, but that was like the one of the few jobs that I did that was like first shift. So I just really wasn't a morning person. I don't like working that early. So it was five in the morning, y'all. And trucking usually don't know what time you're gonna get off. So you didn't know what time you was gonna get off. Usually it was around 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Sometime I even got off at 5 p.m. Like it was crazy. The garbage trucks kept breaking down. This may not be the garbage company in your town. So go try it out, man. If you but if you cannot find, I mean, or a trucking job when you just getting your CDL, my suggestion is go. But I tell you, if you are picking up trash with the garbage company, that's going to be straight. You could just, you're just picking up the trash. You're not even really getting out the truck. I had to get out the truck because I was picking up yard waste. So leave bags, like I told y'all, leave bags, garbage cans for yard waste that wasn't the same kind of garbage cans as trash. So little handle did not pick up every single yard waste trash. So I had to get out and do some stuff. I didn't like that too much getting in and out the truck, but people who did trash, they did, they barely had to get out the truck. You just drive, um, they gonna give you a sheet of paper and it tells you all the turns that you need to make. And once you are done with those, the sheets of paper, you done. You just picking up trash. You gotta take the trash to this big uh, a dump site. They bury the trash. You just gotta dump it out of your uh, garbage truck. They bury the trash like y'all seen in the video. They create layers of trash. They just keep going until it fills up they can only go to a certain height um that's required i think by law or something they can only go up to a certain height of trash and then they move over to a new area and do the same thing just you everybody every day garbage trucks come in there people come in there they dump trash in there and they bury it they roll over it with this big ass roller thing and it just it stinks though it smells so bad you got to think everybody trash is in this place sometimes though you got to do what you don't want to do do what you got to do i had to work that garbage truck job just so i can get me a good local job because i didn't have enough experience you know nobody was calling back with three months of experience so i'm that's why i'm telling y'all sometimes you got to do what you don't want to do to do what you have to do um you know it did work out for me i only had to do that garbage truck job for three months i kept applying to uh local trucking jobs while i was getting my experience i just kept applying and hoping somebody would call back and somebody finally did i also had an interview for pepsi at the same time they called me around the same time so i had two local jobs that was willing to give me a job within six months so that should give y'all some hope that it is possible bro but you have to search you have to keep searching you have to keep applying to everything and you have to keep getting your experience while you're doing it y'all experience is the key 
to getting these local trucking jobs. You may have to go over the road either. You know, that's what this channel is about, giving y'all some insight. So, man, y'all stay tuned, and who knows what it may be, y'all. Y'all hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, go down the channel, check some of these videos out so y'all can get that insight too on what it's like to be a local truck driver. This is my second year with my CDL, y'all, so I'm gonna keep going, see how far I can go with it. And SBK Trucking, I will see y'all in the next video.